Okay, we're live again at Live Art Last Fridays at the Edward A. Dixon Gallery. And today we have Janet Garlikoff uh, and another person who's, I think I may have said her name right, but I'll let her introduce herself. Janet Garlikoff. It's like garlic with a no. Okay. The V is silent. V is silent. Okay. I married the guy 26 years ago. I only learned how to spell it last week myself, so okay. don't feel bad about it. <laughs> okay. Great. Now, so tell us a little about a little bit about yourself. Of course, uh, you have some artwork here in the gallery, but uh, you do Thank lots you. of other things. So tell us about the art here and, and some of the other art that you have. Well, the art that is here is lace on steel, and it it kind of references the fact that I was born in Pittsburgh, and my grandmother was into lace, so. Um, and I worked with Mike Elsoff for a period of time, so I really gravitated toward the um, steel concept. Um, and, and in particular, uh, the weathered or rusted steel. So I buy the steel from, um, have it fabricated at Buddy's Steel over on um, Leo Street. And I bring it home and I lay out my driveway and I let it rust up to the point that I like the patina, and then I work with it from there. Then I also have a, another body of work, um, plaids, which have been displayed throughout Dayton. Uh, last year we were in Wheat Penny for three months. Um, I can't remember every place. I'm old. I can't remember everything. All over. I got to work all over. But I know you've been in the, what, Date Society of Artists, too, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And DVAC. DVAC. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I know, yeah, you've been all over town. I went to an opening at what, uh, one of the hotels out on uh, oh, Miller. Oh, yeah, yeah, Red yeah. Lion Inn. Uh -huh. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So, that yeah, was a good show. Yeah, so you've been yeah around quite a bit and in, in with different styles of art. Um, you know, you, like you said, you have the lace on steel, the, uh, the plaids, which I bought a card of it. But, so what else do you have going on? I know I've seen some new stuff on social media. What are you working oh, on? Yeah, now? well, I'm... I'm putting together um, a body of work that is all abstraction, um, shooting to be in um, one of Bill Cunningham's, Bill Montana's shows over at the orphanage called, um, what's the name of the show? Not abs Hardcore Abstract, that's okay. what it's called, uh, in February. Mm -hmm. Um, and he, later on in the year, will have another show on abstraction, so there's that. Um, the plaids, I haven't done a whole lot with the plaids uh, recently, but I am going to be one of the working artists at um, um, K-12, um, their show, November 3rd. Okay. Um, they're going to have like um, working artists during the actual show, so I, I will be one of the working artists. We're going to uh, get the, whole <clears throat> the total work done in two hours. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can, that sounds yeah, fun. Little, little marathon. For okay. Me. That sounds fun. And and so out of all these different styles you've been working on, what what's been your favorite? Which, whatever I'm working on it, at, the at time. that time. At the time? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's okay. the truth. And, um, and then I know you have an exhibit coming up, something to do with some birds and oh, what's it, what yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we open first Friday in November at the Orphanage, 73 North Detroit, Detroit, however it's pronounced. Um, over there in the Front Street complex, myself, uh, Julie Riley, and Samantha Farkas, and the um, theme is birds. Mm -hmm. So we're calling the show Birds of a Feather. Okay. So in addition to that, we will have a special presentation on third Sunday in November 
Uh, we will be open, of course, but we're also going to have the um, lady from Glen Helen who's in charge of the Raptor Center. Mm -hmm. She's actually going to bring birds with her oh, wow. that day. So, I mean, I encourage, especially uh, have a family out and, and, you know, come and look at our birds, come and look at live birds. Okay. okay, pretty awesome. So, sound like you're pretty busy. With I am busy. You, so, what's uh, 2019 going to look like? Well, um, my main show at this point in time is going to be in May, and that show is going to be called In the Garden. Um, and I've invited two other artists to participate in that show, and one is Jay Favorite, who does... Um, metal sculptures, and he has done some floral work for me, which I have in my own garden at home. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a master gardener, so I really appreciate the fact that I don't have to water or weed his stuff, and it looks great. Okay. So he's going to be in that show with me, and also um, Cecilia, I forgot her last name, she's the only girl that makes jewelry and um, that has a floral theme to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. She'll be, she'll be uh, included in that show. <laughs> so where else currently can people find your artwork and more about you? Um, you know, like I said, where is there a website, social media? My website's really difficult, janetgarlico.com. P.S. I am the only Janet Garlico in the world, so you will have, as long as you can spell the name, you can find me. Um, I'm on Facebook. I, I dabble once in a while on Instagram. I wish I knew more about it, but I don't. I'm, I'm social media okay. inept. Well, in we'll, that way. we'll follow you anyway, no problem. <laughs> okay. Um, so, where else am I going to be? I'm hoping maybe next fall to be at Bears Mill, but we haven't confirmed that at this point yet. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll try and keep up to date with what you have going on, and thanks for coming in and doing this interview today. Anytime. All right. Thanks. <laughs>